So obviously, you know, you you know that smoking is bad for you. Smoking kills you in in many ways: lung cancer, throat cancer, blah blah, whatever other cancer. There's so many ways to die from smoking, and obviously, you want to quit. But the real question is: Can vaping help you to quit cigarettes? All I can tell you is my own experience with vaping. So I've been cigarette-free, smoke-free for seven months now. So it started in October 2015. About a week uh, since I started vaping, I stopped smoking altogether. The last cigarette I've ever had was seven months ago. So in this video, I want to explain to you my experience, and also I'm going to have my first cigarette after seven months. And just for fun to see how it actually turns out. If I still like cigarettes, if I still feel attracted to it, and we'll find out right after this. All right. So as I said, you know, the last stick of cigarettes that I've had、uh, over seven months ago. And I've been vaping. I completely stopped smoking cigarettes, and I've tried all kinds of different ways to stop smoking. And just before I started vaping, I've tried nicotine gums, I've tried patches, I've tried going cold turkey.、Uh, it didn't work for me. Okay, okay, sure. Sometimes you know, for some people, some of those things may have worked. I admit it. You may say, oh, you just need some discipline. Whatever. I've tried a lot of stuff. It didn't work for me. Just before I started. Vaping, I was actually close to going for acupuncture. Believe it or not, I heard that acupuncture can actually help you stop smoking. That was how desperate I was to actually stop smoking. So when I started vaping,、uh, it was a bit troublesome at first to figure things out,、uh, but when I got the hang of it, I really loved it, and I didn't touch a stick of cigarettes as I mentioned for the past seven months. But today we are going to light up the old stinky, and I just want to know: Am I really free of cigarettes or not? Because to be honest with you, for the past seven months, sure, vaping has helped me to stay clear of、uh, cigarettes, any tobacco-based、uh, products. But every once in a while, every once in a while, my mind tells me, okay, that vaping. Is not the real deal, and it always tells me you need to smoke. You need to smoke. That, that little voice in my head keeps telling me that, and it's not really surprising actually, because I smoked for twenty years. Twenty years versus seven months of vaping. I mean, obviously, the craving for cigarettes is still there. I just want to know today: Am I free of it, or will I go back to smoking in the near future if vaping doesn't work out for me? This is the same type or the same brand of cigarettes that I smoked for almost twenty years. It's called Dunhill. If you don't have Dunhill in your country, it's it, it's like Lucky Strikes or Luckies or whatever you call it. It's pretty hard. It's pretty damn hard. And、uh, I had to just get one stick of it. I did not want to buy an entire pack. Lighter. I need a lighter. Fucking hell. All right. I can't find any lighter, but I got something even better. I got a torch. How do I do this? So I just want to tell you that、uh, the entire、uh, me lighting up the cigarettes,、uh, smoking, having a puff on the old stinky again,、okay, that's going to be blurred out. I don't want to encourage anyone. Just in case, just in case you are not really a smoker yet, I don't want to influence you to smoke. All right. So here you go, life experiment. Ah, fuck yeah! Ah, all right, got to stop. 
Oh my god. That was even worse than I imagined. I mean, I, I know it's going to be terrible because whenever I sit next to someone who's smoking, I just can't, I just can't take the smell of uh, cigarettes anymore. It just smells to me like you know, something horrible is burning. And now I understand, you know, how a lot of people felt, non-smokers felt when they sit around me, but... <clears throat> oh my God, what a mess. The ashes everywhere. Mm. Ah, it feels like that was the first stick of cigarettes that I've ever had in my entire life. In fact, I think it feels worse than the first time I ever smoked. Um, if I if I continue to to finish off that cigarette and go for a second one or third one, you know, will I get the hang of it? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Probably, you know, because like I said, I smoked for 20 years. It's not going to go away in just uh, seven months of uh, vaping. But definitely vaping has helped me to uh, quit smoking and curve my my need, my need for cigarettes. Okay, every once in a while, as I said, my mind, the little voice in my head keeps telling me, you need the real thing, bro. <clears throat> <clears throat> but the real thing... <clears throat> Sucks. Ah. All right, so to <clears throat> ah. let's get back to the question, the important question, okay? Can vaping help you to quit smoking? The answer is no, no. Only you can help yourself to quit smoking. Uh, I know a lot of people who tried vaping just for fun, just, oh, this is a new thing, let's try it out. But they never really had the intention to quit smoking, so they never did. I mean, a lot of them gave up uh, vaping after uh, one or two months, and, you know, you know, for whatever reason. Some of them do vape occasionally, maybe the... the uh, uh, vape to reduce the amount of cigarettes they smoke, which is still good, which is highly recommended if you can do that. If you don't want to give up smoking altogether, you just want to vape so that you can cut from one box a day <clears throat> to half a pack a day. That is good. I mean, that is good. That reduces your risk by half just like that. But if you want to quit smoking, then you really have to really, really want to quit smoking before you try vaping. And if you really want to quit smoking and then you vape, I believe that, you know, just like me and just like a lot of people, a lot of comments I get on my channel, uh, just like all of us, you will be able to quit smoking right away. If, if you really have it in your mind that you want to quit. That's the only way that you're going to quit smoking by vaping. Ha! Huh, that's so much better. So now the question is, how long does it take, okay, to quit smoking? For me, immediately, okay, once I got the hang of it, I, I just needed to figure out how to use my device and stuff like that. I know it can be challenging for a lot of people when they, when they start uh, vaping. I mean, compared to smoking a cigarette, it's so easy. You just need to light it up and you need to, you know, take a puff. But there's a lot more into uh, vaping, you know, getting your e-juice and getting um, your nic nic level nicotine level right. Uh, getting a decent mod, getting your setup, your coils and stuff like that. So if you want to quit smoking and, and get into vaping, uh, the best thing that you can do is find someone you trust, someone who can explain things easily to you. And, and that someone, of course, also has to be a vapor and they should be vaping and just follow whatever recommendation that they give you. Okay. There's no right or wrong to it. It just helps a lot if you have someone to guide you early on, which I did not have. But if you have someone to guide you early on, uh, on how to vape, because it's very different from smoking a cigarette. In fact, <clears throat> when I smoked that shit, <clears throat> when I smoked that earlier, okay, I kind of forgot how, how, how much I have to draw, how hard I have to draw with a cigarette, uh, with my vape device, with my tanks, it's, it's easy. It's, it's more of a, of a lung inhale. Sometimes you can also smoke it like a cigarette. There's so many devices out there that you can choose whatever that works for you. And also if you want to quit 
smoking and try vaping. There are lots of uh, tobacco flavored e-juice that you can try that I tried that really helped me to uh, actually quit smoking much, much faster because going from tobacco to tobacco flavored is is really easy to do and it gives you the uh, a very nice transition from smoking to vaping. <clears throat> mm. Fuck. <clears throat> that really fucked up my day, man. So the moral of the story is, if you want to quit smoking, if you really, really want to quit smoking, if it's your New Year resolution for 2016 or 2017 or whatever, then you can do it much easier with vaping because the experience is not exactly the same, but it is a good substitute compared to nicotine patches and nicotine gums. Uh, it never worked for me. In fact, every time I tried nicotine gums and nicotine patches, uh, I always relapse and when I relapse, I actually, I think I actually end up smoking more uh, after I've used those, especially the nicotine gums. I always end up smoking more. I don't know if it makes sense, but that's how I feel. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to get into uh, vaping and, you know, you find it a bit too confusing, I have lots of beginner tutorials coming up on my channel at GK Vapes. So just search YouTube for GK Vapes or you can click subscribe to subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. <clears throat> if you're a vapor and if you have successfully moved away, quit smoking uh, into vaping, then I recommend that you help at least one person this year to also quit smoking and move to vaping. It's a lot more difficult than you think because although you may have got the hang of it, uh, it's quite difficult to get a smoker to transition to vaping. It all depends on how much you can teach them. Keep it as simple as possible. Don't push them to get really complex, uh, high-powered devices. They're not going to be able to use it and maximize it anyway. You can go for simpler devices like this little uh, vape pen, okay? It's, it's a Kanga E-Ward with a Kanga Aerotank uh, Mini on top. The draw on this is very similar to cigarettes and also the amount of vapor that you can get is also very similar to cigarettes. So have them get started with the cheapest, most affordable, easiest device. And I'm pretty sure that if they really want to quit smoking, as I said, they will be able to do that. As I said, just stick with simple devices because you're just in, in transition, okay? You don't really want to be a vapor. You just want to quit smoking. You can still do that with vaping as well with cheap, affordable devices. So go ahead and do it. That's all from me, GK from GK Vapes. Thank you very much for watching this video.